Howdy! Welcome to my messy, cluttered garage where I've got about 10 different projects going on that are in various states of progress. So, I do a lot of working and not a lot of cleaning and it shows. Uh, I do have one project completed that I wanted to show off because I'm pretty proud of it and it's this box that I'm sitting on. This is my plyo box and if you're not familiar with that term, uh, it stands for plyometric. Um, box. It's literally a box made for jumping on. It's a type of exercise that I enjoy and it's really good for you and uh, it helps me to stay strong and, and quick as I get older. Uh, so those type of exercises are in my book some of the best that you can do because you get a lot of bang for your buck um, you know when you're limited on time for workouts. What I'm also limited on is space in my garage. So wanting to have a nice big box and having the space for it are two different things. So I decided to make one that I could stow away easily. Um, set it up and break it down without tools. Um, easy to use, easy to build, and cheap to build. I think I achieved all of those things uh, with what you see I'm sitting on right here. Not perfect, there are a few mistakes that I made and maybe after I've used this one for a while, I'll, I'll make a better one uh, that's refined all those those little details that I wanted to get just right. I can kind of see it in my head, but it didn't didn't quite work out the way I wanted to in the end. Uh, but it's okay. It works, and I'm happy with it. So I'll, I'll jump on it once or twice and, and show you the function of it just to, you know, convince you that it won't collapse under my weight. Uh, and then I'll show you how it breaks down. Uh, so, of course, uh, doing box jumps, you can do it a lot of different ways. I'm not going to go into a class on box jumps. Uh, normally, I will turn it so that these hinges are away from me, and that's one of the things that I'm going to fix in the in the next version is is not to have these hinges uh, sticking up. I'll probably go with a different type of hinge. Uh, but either way, uh, jumping on it, pretty straightforward. Just going to jump off and then keep on doing that. Uh, I don't have any uh, grip tape or anything on the top. Uh, I've never found that I've needed it uh, for for any kind of box uh, made out of wood. Uh, they're just fine without it, especially if you're using it indoors and you don't have to worry about wetness or anything like that. Uh, no issues so far, so I don't anticipate that it'd be necessary. But if uh, you know if you think differently, just go ahead and shoot me a comment, tell me I'm dumb or something like that. Uh, but when you're done using it, uh, like I said, I want something I can stow away and not take up a lot of space. Uh, so. These hinges on this top, I've got this hole right here that just lift it up and it folds right down. And then I've got hinges on the inside corners and all this is just collapsed like that. And now I have a nice flat package with handles on the sides that I can just slide out of the way. And I got my garage back. Thanks for watching.